Oh my goodness my gracious. You look like messy. Oh, is it box or is it in there? More versus Capcom? Dude, show me. That is a haul, bro. I'll put a Mega Man over it. All for 25? We're buying stuff. Apparently, this was put on by Ricky. And Fernie, what do we got right here? You can open it. You started this. Go ahead. It's, it's almost better because you don't really know what's in I there. I don't know what we're buying. Holy moly. This Yo. is good <laughs> stuff. Look at this. Zelda Phantom Hourglass, Contra 4, Metal Slug, Castlevania, 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 Zelda, Turtles in Time, DS Princess Peach. Now, I almost opened this up. More versus Capcom. Let's go. But did you see what else is here? Do we have Ninja Gaiden 3? I don't know. I oh. saw the River City Ransom. Did you see this? Darkwing Duck. We do have that in the collection, so we'll see what we need in this for our collection. Obviously, I'm not selling the collection. N64, gray, yellow, atomic, a Nintendo's, a PlayStation 3, Mario All-Stars, Donkey Kong Country 3. I think it's the whole set. One, two, and three. Captain America. Super Punch Super Out. Super Punch Out. Spawn. Spawn. Mario World. Well. That was amazing. What a way to start out the day. It's 5 a.m. and that's already the score. Now, Ricky and I will go through this stuff a little bit later when we can all kind of see what we're looking at. So let's get out there and go hunt at the swap meet. Curtis, what is that? What'd you find so far? Whoa. Ooh, oh, I've seen these before. These are awesome, dude. Yeah, the, the zipper is a little bit messed up on it, but I think it's just cool to like- 80s, clean. 80s. Are you getting the hat too in it? What is that? Pirates of the Caribbean Crew. Oh, Pirates the of the Caribbean one. Crew. Yeah. That's actually sick, dude. I know. It even nice job. full embroidered, so. That's awesome. It's definitely gonna get those. I haven't seen one of these ones in a while, Ricky. Which one? The turtles Ooh. crossover with the horrors. Kawabunga. Splinter as Van Helsing. It's just one of those things you would have never figured when you were a kid, like they're gonna do like a horror line. Oh, I kinda wanna see this too, Ricky. Look at this. I did a funny. Oh, I so made a funny. 007 Micro Machines? Ooh, never seen that. So I did get this, and in a little bit, Ricky and I will show you guys more in detail what we got from that haul just a little bit ago when it was pitch black outside at like 4.50 in the morning. There's a ton of really good stuff in there, and I feel like it's been a long time since we really kind of showed you guys games in more detail when we do those big pickups. went wild on Blu-rays. Wait one sec. Oh, wow. Oh, that was from him. Bring it over, let me see. Hold on, wait, Ricky, I don't wanna lose these. Go ahead, bring them over here. Dude, show me, that is a haul, bro. Big one. Big Bart. Electronic Bart. Electronic Bart. Hanging Bart. Let me see the hanging Bart. Watch. How much did you pay for all these, dude? 60 for everything. Okay, that's a steal. Yeah, that's a steal. This is awesome, I've never seen this one. The game? How cool is that? You know, I, I, I screwed up because literally when I was walking away, the kid was like, hey, he said he has Simpsons stuff for you guys, and I walked away. Idiot. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well, Ricky, I will say that is a major. It's amazing. Major score. Good job. Honestly, look at that. Wow. Good job. No way, man. I only accept 1-800 collect calls. Give it the time, homie. I started poking around some DVDs. I got the sealed Pulp Fiction big box, and here's my favorite, all the sealed uh, Beavis and Buttheads, these are all sealed. And then I got the Toy Story big box with the toy box, Iron Man Blu-ray with the face, and the alien. Let's go. I should show that I did just get this for 10 bucks. Good deal on this also, not for sale. Boom, it looks good in there. 10 bucks is a great deal, so I'm feeling good on this one. Also, I'm trying not to film at this booth very much, but they do have Super Nintendos, Nintendo stuff, PlayStation stuff, so I'm gonna dig through, but turn off the camera and come back. Okay, let me... Let me walk over here. Actually, my cart's right here. Uh, so I did pick up, they have 101 Dalmatians 2, which I had to scan, and it ended up being worth about 20 bucks. In that case, I'll take them all. Also, this was worth like 10, but then four NES games, but I, I picked up another RC Prom. After the brutal, what Gabo did last week and threw them in the air, I felt like I needed to redeem RC Prom and grab another one just to grab them. But then three games uh, that I didn't have on the set. Puss in Boots, an underrated game that is like jank in graphics, look cute, but they're kind of janky, you can tell. And then Superman and Videomation. I've never played Videomation in my life. I've seen it a thousand times, never actually played it. Superman's worth playing. Puss in Boots is totally worth paying. playing. RC Prime is obviously the goat of the bunch, but I already have that. So I got to see where we're at. Jumping in on today's video to talk about this chair, the C7 by Flexi Spot. I've been using 
flexi spot stuff for a long time from desks to chairs to all the above. This chair is the next level. It's my favorite iteration so far of what I've ever had by flexi spot. So of course you have all your great stuff. You have lumbar support, lumbar support, which is fantastic. Built in the headrest up and down in and out. I like to keep it down like this because I'm the kind of guy where if I don't keep my head straight like this with this in there, I'll, I'll lean back too often. This is great for relaxing. I like to keep it like this. Now, C7, one of my favorite things is this. Look at this. You can pull this puppy out and you may be thinking, well, gee, that's not that comfortable if you're sitting up straight. That looks, almost looks awkward. No, down here, you can flip this down here. As you turn it, the more you turn it, the more room you have to lay back. So all the way turn back is this is just, this is for mode after you reward yourself. You finished editing a video, you finished working, then you can go ahead and relax. All right, check this out, come close. Not a lot of people will probably talk about this feature. I love the armrest dynamics. So when you're editing, a lot of times or working, you'll get in positions to where you're like, ah, I'm kind of tired or you, you're sitting at a desk for eight hours sometimes. You might want to lean this way. Heck, sometimes I do this while I go. But with this, you can kind of dynamically move the rest to fit where you're at, like if you're leaning back. But then you go like this and you're like, oh, that doesn't work. You can put it forward so that when you're moving forward, you can have your wrists hanging low, you can have not hanging at all, turn them, twist them. And just so you know, this does support up to 320 pounds. There's also a 30 days free return. Use the exclusive code C730. Purchase the C7 now and enjoy a $30 discount. It's the best time to buy the C7. Thank you again, FlexiSpot, for working with us. You guys are legends, been working with us forever. We truly appreciate you guys. The C7, you gotta try it. The first real problem is trying to get used to the controls. It's another one of those games where up is jump. These games, not RC Pro-Am, let's see what we're at. I don't even know where we're at. And super not, super, Superman, I cannot talk. This puts us at, Ricky, let's see. We are at 482 NES games. Jeez. It's in there? Wee wee? Baby wee wee? Let me see. Oh yeah, no thing in there. Ah. Oh, is it a box or is it in there? How much on this one? One fifty for both. I think I might do that. All right. Let's hope. Let's hope. Oh my! Yes! I just have been gifted the greatest member of the Camel Crew. Oh, sorry guys. Sorry about that, guys. He is. It's true. We're just I, here. I got a, uh, oh, Curtis has it, a Wii Sports bundle box Wii, but it was missing Wii Sports in Austin. He gave no, 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 this. go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do. Those are just dropping out of my hand. <laughs> oh. All right, now, now I don't feel as bad about him giving me that Wii Sports. You got all of this for, you said, 25 bucks? 25 bucks, yeah. What? Mario Kart All for 25? You did a good job, guys. You know? That's what happens when you're known as the Wii Man. So. You are known as the Wii Man. <laughs> that is very true. All right, audience. Tell me what I just bought. My Uncle the Alien. I'm not going to lie to you guys. This looked like something that Retro Rick would pick up. So I picked it up and scanned it. And the last one did sell for like 20 bucks. But I'm always interested in these weird, like, 90s almost like wannabe yeah. jonathan taylor thomas movies so the president's daughter her secret friend in an out of this world adventure join kelly and her friends for an exciting out of this world adventure the whole family will enjoy my uncle the alien FBI, open up! look at this we're just going through some of it acdc single stitch 2000 year 2000 john fogarty we got a 1999 Mickey Mouse right there. Uh, Allman Brothers tie-dye. Look at this, Lover Boy, 1995. Single stitch, Melissa Etheridge, wow. So while we've been digging this whole time, there's something going on on the sidelines. Ricky's been working on getting a banger from one of the vendors here. He's bringing it over right now, and it's time to see what it is. Ricky's pulled out the money already. He's oh, already yeah. lubed him. I'm uh, getting all these, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What yeah, is yeah. it? I gotta take out a little discount on the lube. 
95. Ooh, my goodness like gracious. So have you played this one? Yeah. It's awesome. it's I would almost say oh, I'm gonna get hate in the comments because I love RC Prom. It may even be better than the original. My disappointment is immeasurable. Maybe, 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 maybe. I can't believe we don't have this. Technically it Ooh. is like a better game, and that's one of the grails that we needed. The power of radio control. If you can't take it, you'll need dust. That's one of the best labels within the NES category, it too, is. by the way. I love this is what I wanted to get CIB, but I'll, I'll go for it. Colors and beauty. Look what the, the crop duster too just flying above. This is a thing of beauty. 95 bucks? 95 bucks. Pay him up, brother. Beautiful, dude. Thank you. Let's go. All right, so Ricky's um, RC Pro M2 does put us at 483 NES games in our set. Well, Ricky just spent like $180 on t-shirts and I spent close to $400 on t-shirts. And then Curtis. Nice, let's go. And then Curtis also got, we have to go through like crazy. I mean, I'd say point out the, the, the banger. obvious banger. Landstalker. CIB. Wow, dude, this is a banger. This is also Ooh. a banger, Van Helsing. Vin, did you just call that Van Helsing? That's <laughs> Vandal Hearts 2. I don't care. And then since, since uh, but nice. Nice. Go complete it. Go complete it. Wax. Complete wax. It, wax. Wax. I'm not going to lie. Austin gave me a complete. No. He did. What an but awesome th guy. But thank you anyway. Something Curtis and I got earlier earlier that we uh, we kind of stayed quiet about because we we definitely scored on it. This is crazy. Not this one. This one's crazy. This one's like about a sixty dollars. Sixty bucks. Yeah. So basically, the guy was like, "Hey, I have like random electronics, and we like I open these boxes, and they just be like dead stock cases of PSP stuff." Headphones, but again, I know you Car guys might charges. be like, who cares about this stuff? Like a full on case set. But the value of them, I mean, low end, like 20, 30 bucks each yeah, on yeah. a lot of these I think things. it's just cool. Like, like, I was like, man, random box. Which is great because all this money gives us more money to build the NES set. And boys, I have a secret. Been holding on to these at the swap meet. Nobody knew I got them. This one, I already think we have. Gosh dang it. I already think I have it. This one, we don't. Mendel Palace which is like a top-down puzzle game with, look at the beautiful cover on this, by the way. Mendel Palace has like a Ooh, oh, underrated. Oh. Okay. Well, it's better. Mendel Palace by Hudson Soft for Nintendo. But there was another game in here. It's just Duck Hunt. Dang. Look at the label on this, Why? Shiva, my friends. Why did I Metal Storm Mother Ever. Let's go. Bro. One of the best IREM games there is. If you have not played Metal Storm, not only is it a banger, it's hard to find, it's expensive, but I got it in mint condition like this. Really good price. Don't need to say the price for vendor's sake of who I bought it from. How do you Don't say, say that? The price. Is it Metal Storm? Metal Storm. Metal. Nice. You want it to be Metal Storm. <laughs> it's not. It's me That's your mom's game, dude. Hey, guys, just subscribe oh, to the podcast. Thank you. Let me see how many this puts <laughs> us at, but Metal Storm, man, this is the banger of the day. Well, RC Prom, too. Might be the banger of the day. This is a quick get a thumbnail. Gosh dang, that was a better day than most days we've had at the swap meet. And it was such a short time from vintage clothes to toys to crazy video games. And yeah, even crazy video games to knock off our list. But now it's time to do something that we haven't done in a long time. If you're an OG watcher of this show, oh, you might know what's coming. We haven't done these in forever. Hey everyone, I'm Aaron. And I'm Ricky. <gasps> and we're Retro, Retro Liberty. Liberty. Hi guys, I'm Aaron. And I'm Ricky. And we're Retro Liberty. It's probably been maybe how long since we've done a pickup video at the end of a video? Five years? Pro I, it feels like forever. If you're new, this is how all of our videos used to be. They used to always end with us. Dude. The game hunts were like only like 10 minutes, five Fast. minutes. And then we come here, this same wall kind of this side and then continue on that way which we will continue to and talk about games. So we're gonna do it old school style and just like we used to say, Ricky, you can start first. Ladies Ooh. first, dude. Common respect. What's some of the stuff we got? All right. <laughs> Show us some of the goods, Ricky, right, we got right. today. Dude. I didn't even dig through these real Goods right here. Contra 4. Oh my gosh. Look at the, look at the, look at this box. It's like mint. Metal Slug 7. Metal Castle Slug. <laughs> Castlevania Dawn of Sorrows. Portrait of Ruin and Order of Ecclesia? 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 I don't know. 
Dude, that's Ecclesia. Have you seen the adult film they made at Ecclesia? No. It's good. Not that I've ever seen it before. <laughs> All right, those are good games right there. Already great games. Let's let's see what else we got in here. Okay, I'm gonna grab an NES stack right here. Ready? Woohoo! Ninja Gaiden 2. Maybe the best Ninja Gaiden? I would probably say three. I don't know. I'm most nostalgic for Uno. Two is probably for me. The Goonies 2. Is it, oh, wait, wait. Our Zelda actually, though, Ricky? We might need to swap this one out because I think our Zelda is in bad condition. Is it bad condition? Oh, is it? Yeah. It's the one Ben gave us. Ben, we love you. Sorry, the Ben. The condition of that sucked. <laughs> All right, Ben's copy officially sucks. Don't worry, Ricky's down there, he caught it. Okay. Contra, one of the greatest. Godzilla, we do have Super C, we do have, and River City Ransom? I mean, for, for those who don't know by now. River City Ransom. I thought you were putting on deodorant. I don't wear deodorant, do you know that? Yeah, I know that. Isn't that weird? Yeah, I wear deodorant every day. I I've, have <laughs> never smelled in my entire life and it's an odd anomaly. Is that the right word? We can keep it like that. Anomaly. I it's like an odd. It. Ricky's up next. More games. Come on back in, Ricky. Bigger right. stack. Stack it, stack it, stack it. Castlevania. One. Whoa. NES. Whoa. NES. Pass it to me. DuckTales. Great game. I'm terrible at it. But Are you really? Dude, last time we played, you like carried me. No, that was Chippendales. Oh, that I'm was Chippendales. Chippendales. That was my bad. DuckTales, you probably still suck Ooh, at. Darkwing Duck. We already have it, otherwise it'd go on, it'd go our, on there. How's our condition, though? That's a good question. Let's see if we need a condition. No, that one looks worse than ours. Well, I think it just needs a little cleaning. Ours is already better, I can tell you right now. Let's see, ready? Darkwing, Darkwing, Duck. Oh, yeah. Wow. Look at that. Ours is minty, bro. That one's going for sale, Francis. Francis. That one is not staying in the collection. <laughs> Look at that wall, too. Alphabetically organized. Shame. That took a while. <laughs> took way too long. <laughs> Robocop. Renegade. What? Zelda Phantom of the Yari last? Before he, I don't know, I think he lost, he lost something there. Ice Climbers with Manuel. Ice Climbers with Manuel. Ice. 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 No one in the world is gonna get that reference because it was a family thing. Big shout out to Uncle Pat. Ninja Gaiden 1, and you had Ninja Gaiden 2 earlier. We have it, otherwise I'd be so psyched. Ninja Gaiden 3. All the Ninja Gaidens, dude. We have them all. Dang. Some would say we're NES collectors, dude. One of Ricky's favorite games of all time. Marvel vs. Capcom, the fantasy fighter of the millennium. Beautiful graphics, beautiful gameplay. It's like, I would say, one of the best fighting games of all time. Also happy to finally play as Gambit. How much is it worth? I didn't want to tell, look at it. Let's grab some PS3 games because we don't care about these as much. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest. Wolverine. <laughs> Captain America. Marvel vs. Capcom 3? Okay, I'll That's take that one. one. Oh, yay. Uh, and th look at that. All the Marvel collection. Thor. And Ultra Street Fighter, 9 out of 10 by IGN. Yes, in the Venus and no, go ahead. We have go. these games, but Donkey Kong Country, 1, 2, 3. Wow. And Flashpoint. That's sealed. That's sealed. Uh, a Nintendo DS Lite? Is this CIB? Yeah, I believe it is. I, I didn't go through it. I just grabbed it and went with it. No way. Ah, the ah. other side. <laughs> that, the front side was sealed, and I was like, <laughs> One of the greatest, dude. I, I, I've told many stories about my memories with Super Mario 64, by the way. They're fantastic. Die, die, Diddy Kong Racing. Uh, there was a period of YouTube where everybody was saying this was better than Mario Kart 64. And I agreed just because it was like the cool thing to do on YouTube. Like, yeah, dude, it is better. <laughs> I played it. It's horse crap. <laughs> All right, we decided to rank these games from best to worst. Mario Kart 64, Smash Bros, Yoshi Story, A Literal Piece of Crap, and Diddy Kong Racing. Uh, Banjo-Kazooie, Mort thinks it's the greatest. It's good. It's all right. <laughs> we don't love it as much as most people I know. Watch our podcast to watch the hate in real time. <laughs> Ricky, I, you're up. Uh, I actually don't like this game as much. I'm going to drop it down to a C. I'm sorry, more. Yeah, bring it to Ooh, get waxed, Banjo. I, I, uh, Mario Kart 64, definitely, yes. definitely the game. Best. The game? Can I talk tonight? The GOAT? Uh, Yoshi Story, Super Smash Brothers, the amount of oh, night times that we spent playing that together. So many hours. Those were, uh, those were days when I would annoy everybody with Kirby. Kirby! Yeah! How many games are in here? There's a lot of games, bro. Ooh, these are all good. Star Fox, Command. Ooh. Ooh. We got some DK, Mario vs. Donkey Kong. They re-released that recently. Oh, they did? Mm-hmm. Mm. I don't even, I don't think I ever had this one. Mario vs. Donkey Kong again, but the... Part two. Well, part two. Let's just say that. Kirby Mass Attack. Shee! Mario Kart DS. Yeah, dude, this one's a banger. Our Super Princess Peach. Yeah. She was in that Mario movie. Once. Did you see the new Peach game coming out? Peach Showtime. 
It looks awesome. I it looks really awesome, want it. but people, this is why I hate listening to reviews. A lot of people are talking like saying it was like mid. And I was like, don't, don't tell me that. I want to pretend that Princess Peach is the greatest game of all time. <gasps> There's so much more in here, guys. Ready? A giant stack of PS4 games because, again, don't really care about it. Power Rangers. I'm going to say it's probably a 7 out of 10. Street Fighter Collection, 9 out of 10. Scott Pilgrim, it's actually a fun game. 9 out of 10, not the Xbox version online multiplayer when it came out. It literally was broken. <laughs> we could, we tried like six different times through six months. Online multiplayer didn't work. I can't see what Ricky sees or what Gabo sees, but I think we're all seeing different things. My controller also won't stop vibrating. We tried this a few nights ago and we were like, oh, hey, maybe it's just a quick glitch because we played it on launch day but it's still utterly broken online. WW2, trash. Biomutant, never heard of it, so trash. Control, reminds me of the government, so trash. <laughs> Injustice, also reminds me of the government, so trash. Ratchet and Clank, reminds me of Ricky's neighborhood. <laughs> Cellar Squadrons, pretty fun. Battlefront. Street Fighter V. I don't know what he means, dude. Don't make up stuff. By the way, if you guys ever take these pickup videos seriously, it was your first mistake. Yeah, don't take don't take us seriously on these. And never, never get offended. Those comments, people getting offended, you have no idea how happy they make us. <laughs> Someone the other day was like, Ricky doesn't deserve the racism. <laughs> My God, that comment like made me sleep better at night. Super Spike B-Ball. Batman, punch out. Battletoads. Last but not least at all, Metroid. No, I'm gonna say this right now. Yeah. I think I thought I liked Metroid better than I did as, an, as a kid. Because when I played it recently as an adult, I was like, I liked it, don't get me wrong, Super Metroid, GOAT hey. level. But Metroid, I was kind of like, I'll play Mega Man over it. I was like, I like it, I like it, don't get me wrong. I don't love it as much as I did as a kid. Still a great game. Dude, Captain Toad, Splatoon 2, and Cooking Mama, all three of these games, I literally hate. I guess I could, I know what I could do with these. Dog poop up real quick. Oh, good. People always tell us in every episode, hey, when are you just gonna sell that item? We're telling you now, we've said it a million times, we are not sponsored by whatnot, we get nothing from them, but we sell every Thursday night. And by the time you're watching this video, these games, long gone. They are pretty much gone. <laughs> we use these to build this. Kirby's Return to Dreamland. Great freaking game right here. It's a really good game. That's a really good game. Wii Sports Resort, uncommon game, probably never heard of by most people. I enjoy that game. Is this the rare one? It is. We party. 50 bucks it says on there. Mm. Is that true? Super Mario Bros. Wii, I'm a big fan of these. That was a great one. A lot of people kind of talked down on these when they first came out. I liked it. Freaking idiots, dude. They you know. could kill your partner. Is this case only? I don't know, open it. Oh! Case only. We got scammed, dude. <laughs> I want a refund on all this. That's it, bro. Super Mario Galaxy 2, Skyward Sword. I remember you played this game a lot. I liked it. Ricky's, I saw it. Oh, Ricky's phone made a noise. Oh, that's Twilight. Oh, with Edward Paytonson. Pat, part, Pat, the, the Batman guy? Twilight Princess. Kirby's Epic Yarn. I love that game. It is a really, all the Kirby games, this is, I feel like, one of the better Kirby games. Yeah, it's so A good. lot of Kirby games, yes, they're all easy, but some of them kind of felt like, to me. This one felt really fun. Super Mario Galaxy. I got so many games. Mario Kart Wii Wii. Super Smash Bros. Brawl. That was amazing when it came out. Loved it. Again, another one of those games a lot of people talk trash on. It's when Snake first came out. I remember oh, when they announced so it. I was so excited. I remember when they announced it. And I remember I was watching with my eyes closed and I thought they were announcing Snake like the Nokia phone game was becoming a character. That's uh, not true. That still would've been fun. Showtime. Oh, here's the one you liked. Twilight Zone. Yes. Say. Nice. Oh shoot, you see what's in it? Twilight Princess. What do you Ooh, got? Contra, Shatter, what is it? Shattered Soldier? I used to have this one. I used to play that con. Neo Contra? Mm. Dude, these are great. Oh. Probably my favorite fighter of all time. Well, though. Really? Capcom vs. SNK, but this one is right there. Marvel vs. Capcom 2 on the PS2. I freaking love this game. Underrated. Say Sega Soccer Slam, if you haven't played it, it is cool. Strikers before Strikers was... Now, is it like, I have played it and I don't remember this part. Is it like most soccer games back in the day where they make Mexico the best team? No. Mm. <laughs> hey, how come all the guys are brown? <laughs> Smack <laughs> Joe. Ooh, beautiful Joe. One and dose. More of the consoles I don't care about. Just being honest. NBA Jam though, this is fantastic. Even the That's PlayStation 3 version. 2K14 with The Rock on the cover. <laughs> Got Hulk on it. FIFA 11. <laughs> Uncharted. You don't like it? I, I, I played three of them. 
for like three hours each. It didn't like them. You have to like movies. It's more like, it's like you're playing a movie. I can't, I don't see these as games, I see them as movies. How was the Uncharted movie? Uh, I can't remember. How <laughs> dare you! And there's your answer. <laughs> I enjoyed the game more. Wild Guns! I actually was showing this to my dad last night on the Super Nintendo, and I wanted to show him the intro cutscene. My dad's a cowboy guy. I showed him uh, the cutscene intro for Sunset Riders, and then I showed him this, and he loved that their names were Clint or Annie. Yeah. Clint Eastwood, Annie Oakley. You know, if you know, you know, Annie Oakley was one of the greatest shots uh, ever in history. Uh, Mega Man Legacy Collection, beautiful, Ooh. along with Mega Man X Legacy Collection 1 and 2. That's They're a great one. Those are fun. I mean, yeah. they're giving you the, the original Mega That Man. one's actually hard to find. This one is? That's actually a pricey game. I didn't know that. Yeah. Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Three for the PS4. I've never seen this cover. Pretty, FIFA, thank you. Is this FIFA Street? Who is this guy on the cover? Is that uh, Ro Rosario? Nadal. No, that's tennis. Uh, Nissan. What's his name? Messi. Yeah, they say that you look like him. I've heard there was one cover of FIFA where everyone's like, back in the day, it was like, you look like Messi. But it was like during that stage where they put on that cover and that was him. No, they're saying you look messy. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I wish we were still doing slaps. Yes, <laughs> really. <laughs> we're the same thing. Uh, say yes. Say. Oh. Nice job. You've been not complex. <laughs> Just have it. <laughs> Bring it up. And until then, good episode. That so. Mario Hoops, three on three. I've Dang. always admired the cover on this thing, dude. How that freaking is, rad. That's a great one. New Super Mario Bros. Ooh. Is it still considered new? I mean, I always think that's interesting. They label that is, why would you label it new? They label it new, and then in like a year, it's like, well, it's old Super Mario? <sighs> Finally got it at launch day. What the crap? Remember COVID? <laughs> When you do have to give up what you consider your individual right. How about no? Come on. What's that from? Oh, dude, right when you said that. Come on. How? Okay, I have to point it out. Come a little closer. Come a little closer. Starbucks. That, that's what they say. Come a little closer. You want to know something interesting about Starbucks? What? I always remembered being good at it. Yeah. You're really good at it. I love it. And I played it the other day. Yeah. And I kind of sucked. I was like, why am I so bad at this? Honestly, I probably just forgot to. Shoot him down, we're being marked. This is the one game when we spent the night at Retro Ricks. Mm -hmm. I stayed up just to, just to beat this at Ricks house. You did too. By beat myself. It. Beat it quick. I was like, yeah. My turn. Turtles in Time. This is like OG uh, game hunting days when you were a YouTuber like 10 years ago. This was the game you wanted to find. It wasn't even that expensive. Everybody's like, did you get Turtles in Time yet, bro? Mm. Yes, I did. Mario Golf. <laughs> <laughs> it's golf with Mario. <laughs> Technically, the original golf on Nintendo was Mario Golf. That's true. Mario is the golfer, right? That's true. Is it? Yeah. Or and then it? when you hit it, he would say four, and then Abraham Lincoln would come out and go scores seven years ago. Uh, Donkey Kong Country 2, P. Diddy's Conquest. Dang. This one's wild. <laughs> wow. I can't believe it. Huh. Secondary character you can play as R. Kelly. Dang. I need a hug. You know how you start in a pirate ship in the beginning? Yeah. You're going to Jeffrey Epstein's island. Because I'm an wow. island boy. Banjo Tooie. I like it better than the other one. I think I do too. <laughs> I, I think I what? do too. I don't I'm like Banjo Kazooie, but it's 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 the simple thing that happens to a lot of things. Talk about it so much that you feel like it needs to be the best game of all time. So when you play it, you're like, it's great, but everybody else in the world is saying it's the best thing in the world. So when you play it, it's not the best thing in the world, even though it's really good, and doesn't end up being as high up as you think it's compared to what you're saying. That's true. Donkey Kong Country 3. Some would say it's the worst in the three series of the Super Nintendo. Those people would be correct. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> it's still fun. There's nothing wrong with it. What is his name? Baby Kong or what's his name? I forgot. Diddy 2. Diddy 2. Did he do it? Did Diddy do it? Just that parental instinct. <laughs> Ricky, what's your next game? <laughs> Mario Tennis. I love Mario Tennis. Super, all the sports games on. It's not as good as Virtual Tennis though. Virtual Tennis is probably Ricky and I's most played tennis game together, would it be? Yeah, it would be. It would be. Dreamcast that, and that arcade. That or the Wii Sports one. Yes. I would still say we probably played Virtual Tennis more. Yeah, that was great. I just remember our cousin Chris and our cameraman Chris arguing about politics while we were playing 
in the in the parking lot. Or no, at, at, while playing virtual tennis at Dave and Buster's. And I remember them starting to argue, and I was like, "Wow, we're officially adults. They're arguing about politics." <laughs> like, sweet. This one right here, you can look by the cover, Mega Man X4. Ooh, that's the best one. This is a really good one. This version's like the variant from uh, Donkey Blast Man. Friggin' love Donkey Kong Country. Pilot Wing 64, great soundtrack on the Super Nintendo as well. Stupid that it's not on a Switch. They haven't brought that a Switch crazy. version. They should have brought a Switch version. I fully agree with that. Uh, Spawn, uh, I never got into it, but it, I'm pretty sure it's a beat-em-up side scrolling. Let's go with Captain America with and the Avengers. I, I, I like this game. It's not super crazy, but I like it. Ricky's thumb of approval. Game good. Oh, super punch out. So good. Super punch out. This there, dude almost beat the record. There was a time where I think I was like, I would look online but not actually submit anything, but I think I was like number two in beating like two guys, like Bob Charlie Bob and Charlie. someone else, maybe Hey Kikigero. But I remember I never like submit anything, but it was like an at home mission for me. And I was like number two compared to everything I saw online. We were there for three hours, I think, just fighting Bob Charlie, trying to beat that record. Yeah, just restarting every few seconds. Like, oh, that wasn't it. Oh, not it. Oh, not it. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was a rough night, but it was, it was fun, you know? Well, last one. Last but not least, Super Mario World. That was a nice big lot. That was a lot of games. And we paid a good amount of money for it too. So we'll be using, we'll be keeping eh, 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 maybe 20% of those ish around there, but the rest of it will go for us to buy more Nintendo games. Things like, oh, by the way, I have a show sent me this. Silent Assault on, on the freaking NES. Look at that. Silent Assault Color Dreams. Ooh. I have to put this on the count actually now. Somehow, we don't know how, we didn't have Ninja Gaiden 3, and we thought we did, and we didn't even have freaking normal Ninja Gaiden. We only had Ninja Gaiden 2. And with Silent Assault, all those together, puts us at the uh, 489 NES games. Should we end it like we used to do back in the day? Uh, follow us on Facebook. <laughs> we don't have any of that crap. I don't even know what we have anymore. Would you guys ever want us to do these again? I know it's long doing it this way, but all the old videos, this is how they were. This is how they were. Short time at the swap and a ton of time in here talking, being stupid, doing what we love. So, Ricky, any final words for all the people out there who came here to see you? I don't think anyone came here to see me, Doug. That's not true, dude. You are huge in Latin America. They... <laughs> It didn't end actually, but it just seemed like it did. <laughs>